Hello, everyone. I'm today's speaker for this presentation, Chun Qi Huang. I'm delighted to have the opportunity to share the distinctive features of the small free policy implementation at Jari Qime Hospital. Firstly, I will introduce Jari Qime Hospital to you all. And then I will share with you the unique features and practical experience of our hospital in smoking cessation series. Our hospital is located in the southern part of Taiwan, especially in Jali District, Tainan City. Tainan is known as a cultural ancient capital and still reserve a lot of cultural assets. Next to our hospital, there is a cultural park which is transformed from an older sugar factory. There are also restored salt fields nearby for tourism purpose for people to learn how salt driving process was done in the past. We are a district hospital, which is a branch of Yongkang Chimei Medical Center. We share a common mission, vision, and core values. Our mission is to provide safe and high quality health care to promote the health of the public in our state, to cultivate outstanding health care professionals. Our vision is to become the most trusted health care system for the public. Our core values are care, professionalism, and efficiency. We implement smoking cessation service based on the A standards and we also incorporate our hospital's unique features to make smoking cessation service better meet the needs of the residents in this area. In the governance and commitment section, we commit to being a smoke-free hospital and establish the smoke and beetle nut free hospital promotion team and develop a tobacco control policy and a promotional plan we put the plans into action, committing regular meetings chaired by the associate dean. During these meetings, we report on our policy promotions, work outcomes, and self-assessments. Meeting records are reviewed and signed by the hospital superintendent after each meeting. In terms of communication, we establish a clear communication plan to share smoking cessation related policies, tools, and the latest updates with all the hospital staff, the visitor to the hospital, and the community residents. We put our smoking cessation poster and educational material in the patient waiting areas and broadcast smoking cessation announcements. We also offer smoking cessation courses for government health, health promotion conference hospital typical assigned representative to attend and bring back information to the hospital. Regarding the education and training, our hospital has made understanding tobacco hazards and smoking cessation control a mandatory course for every new employee. We regularly organize tobacco control courses within the hospital, updating all employees with the latest tobacco control policy. We also record videos for workers who cannot attend the courses in person. Regarding smoking identification, diagnosis, and smoking cessation support, we have digitalized our smoking cessation service system. For our patients, our computer system pop up a window message to remind doctor to assess whether the patient smoke or not. For inpatients, Smoking history is obtained during admission assessment. For patients who smoke, the computer system automatically prints smoking cessation educational materials and uh, initiates the smoking cessation referral process. In order to create a smoke-free environment, our hospital has taken several measures. We have placed a clear signage at the entrance of the driveway and at the three main entrance to the medical buildings, as well as at stairwells, elevator areas, and toilets within the hospital, we clearly indicate that 
Our hospital is a smoke-free zone. Our hospital's security team conduct daily patrols. If smokers are identified, they are offered a they are offered smoking cessation counseling service. Additionally, our environmental team is responsible for collecting cigarette butts to identify smoking hotspots. We added warning sign in the poster to smoking hotspots to raise their health awareness. In terms of health workplace, our health promotion team committed to supporting the smoke-free hospital policy we identify employees with smoking habits and provide them with smoking cessation guidance and assistance. We often reward those who successfully quit smoking in order to encourage employees to quit smoking. We have organized health promotion activities surrounding the topic like healthy food choice, stress management courses, and health educational lectures. We hope that these activities will improve the health of our employees and make our hospital a healthy workplace in balance. Regarding community engagement, our hospital active cooperates with neighboring communities, schools, and workplace to organize regular tobacco, tobacco harm lectures, intensify smoking cessation campaigns, and provide smoking cessation courses. We also highlight the dangers of secondhand and third-hand smoke, offering information about smoking cessation and counseling channels. In the monitoring and evaluation section, we participate in the Smoke-Free Hospital Service Quality Improvement Program. We have established smoke-free policy indicators. We analyze the reasons for not meeting the standards and implemented measures to improve. After improvement, there has been a significant increase in the success rate of smoking cessation. We also received an excellence award for this in 2021. Each year, we design different slogans and activities based on the theme of the World No Tobacco Day. Prior to the event, we released announcements and used creative promotion material to attract the attention of relevant individuals and to enhance their willingness to participate. For example, in 2023, we organized an inactive picture scratch off game. When the tobacco sticker is scratched off, the food shows on the picture. It emphasizes the idea that food is more important than tobacco. To emphasize the importance of smoking cessation and consolidate consensus, among all colleagues regarding a small free hospital, we organized a creative slogan competition. The aim was to enhance the health awareness regarding tobacco control, and we transformed the selected slogan into easy to remember and effective message or information to patients and the general public. For example, this one sounds like a Taiwan tongue twister, Quitting smoking leads three good things, good run, good heart, and good health. The, uh, the other one is smoking doesn't just bring short-term happiness, but also long-term lung disease. We established an official line account to provide smoking cessation information. By clicking on the icon below, it can link to the registration web page for the smoking cessation clinic. We provide real-time responses to questions from individuals seeking to quit smoking to provide an online counseling service. Our government began offering free low-dose computed tomography screen for high-risk lung cancer groups since last year. Eligible individuals are those aged 50 to 74 who has smoking history of 30 pack years or more, and those are willing to quit smoking or have quit within the past 15 years. In response to this policy, we have integrated smoking cessation counseling and lung cancer screen by providing them three 
by providing them through a single point of contact, allowing eligible individuals to undergo lung cancer screen to increase awareness of smoking cessation. This is the end of my presentation for today. Thank you, everyone.